All right. We'll try and see if if it's going to hold up the power. I've been trying to charge up my camera for the past an hour and a half. Uh, it doesn't seem to be charging at all, so I don't know what's wrong. But uh, either way, this is going to be a, a quick unboxing of the Nike Off-White Vapor Maxis in the all black colorway. I, I'm actually not sure um, which version this is uh, because there is a lot of them. The OGs, the all whites and so on and so on. But it uh, just came in the mail today and uh, before we start this unboxing I'm sorry that uh, I haven't been uploading lately. Yeah, I don't have any excuses. It's just needs to get the shoes in and all that. This time we find the back with another pair of Nike Off-Whites to unbox uh, and with no further ado, if you like the video please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button. I'll leave a link uh, yeah, down in the description for all my other Nike Off-White unboxings uh, and with no further ado, let's begin this unboxing. Tape. I see the brown box. Have the box here. Alright, so as all the Nike Off-White boxes says, it's a swoosh on top here in this glossy finish. Um, nothing on this side. On the opposite side we have the label, as you can see, 9.5, the 10, Nike Air Vapor Max FK, and the style code is black clear, total orange. Not sure if it picks up, the lighting is a bit bad. Um, on this side we have the off-white branding, off-white for Nike shoe box in quotation, Beaverton, Oregon, USA, 2017. And on the bottom, we got the retail sticker as well as all this brand in here. And uh, yeah, else just a standard cardboard box. And as we open up, so here we got the Nike Off-White Vapor Maxis, and it doesn't seem like any of the air bubble have been popped, which is good, at least not on this shoe. Let's put this to the side. And we have the second pair here. I'll make a detailed look in just a sec. This seems to be good as well. Cool. Um, so as you can see, we got the black laces in and it also comes with these bright blue laces, which I think looks dope. I will definitely swap mine out with that. We got the off-white zip tie with the glossy finish in front which says Nike off-white, off-white for Nike 2017 zip tie in quotation. Uh, what else? Some stuffing for the shoe and the off-white paper. What else then we have? This little tag here made in China tag which the off-white shoes come with. Um, comes with this Stuck X verifi verification or promotion card and a receipt. Alright, so it comes from a 
a second hand seller here in the EU or in Denmark. That's cool. Um, so that's all there is in the box. As you can see, the box itself has this orange with the Nike swoosh compared to the other shoe boxes. This it has this uh, red with the Nike, so that's a bit different for the Vapor Maxes. So, and we'll take a look at the shoes themselves. So, um, I'll just swap out one of the laces with the blue laces and add the zip tie so we can check it out. now as you can see the blue pops a lot more than the um, black I'm thinking I'm gonna um, put in the, the blue laces but else let me let me just go over the quick details of the shoe so as all the the, the shoes from the 10 collection uh, you know Virgil Abloh has redesigned them um, with the swoosh and all that, but if we if we take a look, it is just the Vapor Max standard Vapor Max. It has this reinforced toe cap with this rubber here, and uh, then the flyknit material. Um, on the lateral side, we have the air in quotation in bright white, as well as the translucent swoosh on this pair. I know the original pair had a black swoosh, if I'm not mistaken. Then it has this orange tab, as you can see. Um, if we go down to the midsole, it has this air unit all, all, all around. If we move around to the front, we have the tongue, extinct foamy tongue. Um, I'm not sure if you can check, but it has the Nike Sportswear logo there. And as you can see, it has these undone edges all around. Um, yeah, on the middle side, it has the off white branding text. It says off white for Nike, Beaver Oregon USA, um, Nike Air Vapor Max in quotations, and 2017, all covered up by the trans semi translucent. Uh, check symbol. On the back of the sneaker we have Air Vapor Max on the tongue going on uh, on the heel strap and as it actually has this pull tab here for easier put on. Um, on the outsole now there is a bit of discoloration because of the exposure to air but it is very squishy and the same goes for the other pair, just with the black laces. Inside the shoe, you can pull out the insole. We have the 10 logo as well as the off white logo. And the size tag, this is actually different from the other 10 pairs. On the other, the size tag is shown on here. On the sides, while on this, it is uh, sewn on here. So, and inside, we have the size. I'm not sure if you can, the lighting is real bad, but it says 9T. I don't know what the T stands for. But yeah, very cool. And the same goes as said for this pair. So with no further ado, I'll throw these on feet 
and let you know um, how they fit as well as the comfort of the shoes. And just before we do that, it is a very thick outsole. Yeah. So here are the Nike All 5 Vapor Maxes on feet. I've swapped out the laces on the one pair for the blue and the black on the other, as well as the zip tie. I will say as fit, these fit true to size, so just stick with your normal size. Um, uh, just as comfort wise, uh, I can already say now that all of my other three Nike off whites these would I probably rate one of the most comfortable um, uh, around the same comfort as um, as the Prestos but uh, definitely more, uh, more comfortable than uh, the Blazers and the Air Forces. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you have any of the off white shoes, Nike off white shoes, um, and if not, which one you would like to own yourself. And also let me know in the comment section below what you think of this video and uh, you can also just show me by hitting that like button and subscribe button it really helps me out a lot and yeah i'll see you all in my next video peace